Bill, this is Riley. How does the Earth have earthquakes? Riley, this is a fabulous question. How does the Earth have earthquakes? Well, nominally, or this is just thinking about the first way, the Earth is made of these big slabs of land that move around on uh, the lava or magma, which is what you, geologists call that molten rock when it's underground, magma. And they move around and they bump into each other. Four and a half billion years ago when these objects formed out of dust. It is interesting to notice, Riley, that not only is the dust on a bookshelf being pulled down by the earth, but the dust is ever so slightly pulling the earth up. They're attracting each other. It's really, a, it's quite a thing to get your head around, as we say. So the earth was formed from dust. It came like this and it started spinning. Then that compressing it got, it got hot. And now these pieces of land are bouncing off each other. So the ocean sits on top of, of plates of uh, land. The ocean is on top of solid stuff. You may not have thought about that, but it's the ocean is relatively shallow compared to how deep the earth is, how big the earth is. So along this line, that's one way we get earthquakes. Right now, humans are causing earthquakes in North American Midwest. A friend of mine lives in Oklahoma, and what we've done is drill so many holes into the crust, into the earth, uh, to get to oil and gas that we're actually allowing these uh, much smaller pieces of the earth's crust, the outer layer, to shift around a little bit. And that's also causing what are just like earthquakes. It's really a remarkable thing. And I remind you, Riley, earthquakes don't kill people. Buildings kill people. So what we do now is we design buildings that can stand an earthquake. And if you're in an earthquake, I've been in several earthquakes, I'm fine. Uh, if you're in a building and it's a big earthquake, try to get outside. Uh, this is what we recommend. And so I hope that in your lifetime, here, for example, in the United States, all our buildings are made strong enough for earthquakes. All our bridges, everything. I hope we can pull that off because we understand it now. When I was a kid, right, when I was your age, this idea of tectonic plates, tectonic's a Greek word for builder, for build. The earth is built of these tectonic plates. That was still controversial. The, uh, the people didn't altogether agree on it. And it started in the 1800s with his first name, Carl Wegner, saw where uh, South America seemed to fit into Africa, and it sort of does. And the really compelling evidence he found was the same fossils in South America that you find in Africa at the same level, the same layers of rock existed on both co exist on both continents. And he went, hey man, check it out. I paraphrase, because uh, it was German. But uh, uh, that led to uh, a whole bunch of discoveries that proved that the, the main idea in all of geology is uh, tectonic plates. And by some of them, by the way, some of the evidence, I mean, was done by submarines in World War II trying to sneak uh, across the North Atlantic, like between the underwater mountains. It's very cool. So tectonic plates allow the shifting of the Earth's surface, which causes earthquakes. On a much shallower level, if you drill enough holes in the ground and set off and, and, and pressurize enough places, you can also get earthquakes. They're just part of life, Riley. It's part of living on the earth. It's cool.